Hello fellow plot questers, it is I, Aaron the Plot Quester. So today I am here on Chidi Mountain, which is basically the biggest mountain range in Korea, in South Korea anyway. And basically what I am here to do is basically this place is the this place is like a branch temple from the Hwamsa. So Hwamsa is underneath this temple and this is the smaller branch temple on top of the place. And look at it, it's absolutely gorgeous and I feel like I'm literally on top of the world. I wonder if this is how it feels to be on top of Mount Everest. Now, the thing is, I don't really have a book to talk about, so I think I'll just talk about something that I'm doing as well. What I do want to talk about is in my own book. So, obviously, I'm not like a professional or anything, but I have been trying to work on my fantasy book and trying to publish it for the past couple weeks. And I am around halfway done with it, and the title of the book is The Conjurer in Alivorn Valley. And it is about, it, the synopsis of the book is, is that this is a world called, called Adversia. This is a world called, uh, called Adversia. And Adversia, there are magical stones called amulets, which are the source of all magic. And amulet wielders are people who have special bonds with the amulet. Which means that amulet wielders are the only people who can use their amulets to do magic. And that's the synopsis of it. And honestly, this place really reminds me of what I think of when I think of my book setting, which is Oliver Valley. And it's where Alatrix, my main character, is hunting down this bad guy. And it's just, this entire scene just really reminds me of it. And honestly, I'm just... I'm just inspired by all of this and I, I, this makes me want to write even more which is amazing because I already do want to write a lot and yeah that's all I wanted to say just this nature a writer needs to know what setting their characters are in what kind of emotions the characters are feeling from of course affected by the setting of the place and wouldn't you wouldn't a, any person if they stood here and looked out at the mountains of the sky, wouldn't you feel good? Wouldn't you feel chosen and powerful? I think anyone would if they stood here. And just that kind of emotions can be conveyed into words and that's how it's written. That's how books are written. And I feel like this really inspired me and will inspire a lot of different people. And I think this is really, really great. And that's all I have to say. I'm not going to talk anything about the plot because I feel like, oh, obviously you guys are the first one to know that I'm actually writing a book, but I don't want to spoil any of the plot because, well, it's my book and it's not published yet. Maybe talk after I publish it. So that's about it and enjoy the view. So this is a bit of an extra scene for the one that I just took on top. So basically, while you go to the top of the mountain, stuff like this, you can do stuff like this. So that is a part of this. What does that mean? Well, it's supposed to be like a wishing thing. So you pile up stones and then you make a wish and it'll come true. So that's a wishing stone thing. I don't know how in the world someone went down there and made that, but it's there. So that's that. And also, this waterfall. Look, it's absolutely gorgeous. The water is super clean. It's probably one of the cleanest water in Korea. Um, it's just absolutely incredible. And everything around me just inspires me of scenes and of writing. Of everything I'm doing right now, the world is world is beyond. So I feel like if there are any future authors or want to be authors out there like me, I'm just telling you guys, you need experience. You need to see scenes like this. You need to see beauty. Okay? That is how you get inspired to become a good writer. Enjoy the scene.